Hello and welcome. Now in this video we are going to walk through the process of setting up your account and to do that we're going to click become a teacher. Then we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom we're going to click start a class. We're then going to sign in with our username and password. You can use Facebook or Google if you prefer. And once you are on the inside you'll want to pick your class category. Then you'll be asked what your primary goals are. Now Skillshare will bring you directly to the course creation facility. However, we're going to first start by going to the profile area. We're going to click the profile and then we're going to click view profile. Once we do that, we're then going to click edit profile. So the first we have latitude where we can change our profile image. We can write information in about who we are. We can write in our social media accounts as well as one personal website. We're also going to be asked to include a section for skills. Now what you'll notice is that you have your social buttons at the bottom of your profile once you have filled them all in. These are all clickable links as is the link to your website. So all of this will be important as you don't have a lot of promotional opportunities but you will have individuals that will be curious about your profile and they will be looking to these links. You want to make sure that they are lined up. Now you have another opportunity within your profile to showcase your skills and when you click this add a project button what you can do is you can add content that will be representative of who you are and what it is you do. Now you can add images, you can add videos, and you can add links. Now once again you want to be careful that this content is not going to be promotional but that it is going to be representative of your projects. And what you can do is you can make this project private so that other individuals will not be able to see it by default and you can only show it to those individuals that you want to see it. So again you have a lot of flexibility when it comes to creating this part of your profile. Now there are some account settings that you want to be aware of. For example if you go to this account settings button and you go to the link you are going to see that you're going to be able to set your username. You can also connect your account to Facebook and Twitter and this will allow you to post your updates onto your timeline. So what you're going to do here is you're going to click connect and then you're going to do it again for Twitter. And then people cannot find it on the web. Maybe you want to use or you want to teach this and you don't want everyone to know that you're doing this on Skillshare. You can make your profile private. You can do all of this and hide it from the web. By default, it does show in the web results. By default, your profile is public. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click Save Changes. You also want to look to your email notification section. When you get to the email notification section, you can determine which of the emails you're going to receive and which ones you are not. Generally, if you're going to be engaged in your course and you want to keep up and you really want to make a go of it on Skillshare, you want to start out with all of these emails made available and then over time you can come back to your profile you can determine which ones are overloading you and then you can determine which ones that you're going to tick off. Now, there are two things when it comes to payments. There are payments that you're going to be making to Skillshare and this is going to be with respect to your being subscribed as a student. You can add a payment method here. You're also going to want to have a payment account for you to be paid and that's going to be a connection to your PayPal account. And once you filled in your requirements, your profile is then ready for you to begin teaching classes. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.